Hey friends, today's June 9th. I want to do an update to the video that I did yesterday entitled right here, uh, USS Enterprise CVN-65 Attacked, False Flag Cover-Up or Hoax. Um, it's got over 3,200 uh, views already. It, it hasn't even been up for 24 hours. Uh, and it's, uh, it, it's kind of causing a stir. Let me just remind you, this is not my information. I'm just the messenger. I, on this video, I read you a couple of articles. That's it. I didn't make this stuff up. I'm just bringing it to you. Could do, throw it out. Turn it off. Whatever you want to do. I didn't make this stuff up. Um, however, more information has come out, and I wanted to show you. Um, the story originally came from a website called Stand Up America, and I'm going to read some of this to you. Um, Hormuz attack story, Friday, June 8th, 2012. Editor's note. Facebook and Twitter came alive yesterday when a man in New Hampshire posted a message on his wall describing what sailors assigned to the USS Enterprise had told their families about an event they witnessed. These family members spread the word amongst their close friends and family relating that their spouses had witnessed an attack by jets of unknown origin. There was immediate word that injuries were afflicted, possibly a death. The event has been called a false flag, denied by many, yet verified by many more. You decide, only time will tell. Stand Up America contacted the source and after several phone calls it was clear that they were being truthful and that they were quite afraid. They were only related what they were told by those in theater. It was not just one source for these folks, it was multiple and specific. Stand Up America subsequently sought verification from other trusted sources within the military itself and elsewhere after several hours and many more phone calls confidential active military sources confirmed our worst fears that an event of this magnitude did take place stand up america also received many third hand reports from independent sources but did not report on these because they were unverifiable and still awaiting confirmation contact was finally made with official media uh, offices and we updated the story see below that informed the public that CENTCOM denied the event soon after we noticed that the Navy itself released information on the transit of the Straits by the Enterprise they also mentioned the nature of Iranian actions in the area of late see below and notice the timing there were so many conflicting reports so it was important to just report the evidence, sans any commentary, and seek further information from any and all in the blogosphere, the military and from other media. In light of recent events concerning the manner in which official reports are sent out to the public, including the release of classified information, we are all questioning everything we see and hear. Fears are very high in America. And no one knows who to trust anymore. The public is on edge about so many things, especially concerning Iran and our servicemen and women in harm's way. We hoped at each juncture that the events were just misinterpreted by those in theater, but knowing that minor incidents in that area are very frequent, it was far more likely that the events were not misinterpreted, especially if our people were harmed. We certainly hope that no injuries or deaths occurred. Stand Up America encourages all inquiries and comments and will continue to update the story as it unfolds. The following is the original posting uh, with only l the letters PM added to the times of the updates. You be the judge. Friday, June 8th, 2012, 4.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, I'm going to link this link below in the show more section. You can read this yourself. You can be updated by this website yourself. Okay? Uh, this is, there's actually been more that's been added on to this, but at the end of this video, I will take you to this page, and you can click right here, and it will take you to this video, and you can see what this video says. Uh, I also bring up the strat for map, and I show you that right here, the CVN-65 has uh, gone through the Straits of Hormuz and is inside of the Persian Gulf. Now, I also wanted to show you at the beginning of this article what I just read. It said, 
uh, it says that these family members spread the word amongst their close friends that an incident happened, uh, relating that their spouses had witnessed an attack by jets of unknown origin. There was immediate word that injuries were inflicted, possibly a death. Um, thank you. I'll just say right here. Thank you to Mark right here. Uh, he found that it's a, uh, a serviceman named Richard J. Kessler, 47, has been reported dead. I looked that up, and it's all over. You can go to Bing, and it's all over the place. I wanted to show you this right here, obituaries. This is out of, again, all links are below in the show more section. TBO.com, that's Tampa Bay online, obituaries. Navy sailor from Gulfport dies on the USS Enterprise. Um, and it, it goes into it here. This is, this is him right here. He's got his 65 hat on. This is him right here. If anybody finds this disturbing that I'm simply bringing in obituaries, then just click off this, this video. This is information only. This is not sentimental. This is information for your information. I'm sorry that this may have happened if it's true. I have no control over this. I also I want to show you right here. I'm only trying to verify the sources. Fox43TV.com also says sailor found dead on the United or USS Enterprise updated Saturday uh, the 9th of June 2012 Norfolk Virginia a sailor was found dead on board the USS Enterprise on Friday that was yesterday the day that I made the, the video the first video Master Chief Petty Officer Richard J. Kessler, 47, of Gulfport, Florida, was found dead in his birthing compartment, according to a press release from the Department of Defense. No other details on Kessler's death have been released. Kessler was assigned to the USS Enterprise as a logistics specialist, according to the release. The USS Enterprise is currently deploying the Fifth Fleet and is conducting operations to support Operation Enduring Freedom. Um, and it goes on about... No, actually, that's 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 all there is. So, uh, look this up yourself. Look up the names. It's it's all here. I'm gonna put all these these links down below. Uh, as if this was the video, you just go to this link right here where it says "Show More," and I put the links from yesterday already down there. That's all you need to do underneath this video that you're watching, and um, you can see this stuff yourself. Also, another uh, source here called Gold Coast Chronicle says, Breaking news, a major attack on U.S. naval forces in the Straits of Hormuz. Uh, and it, it basically just confirms uh, what this story is down below on the Stand Up America page. Okay, It says, Editors note, we at GCC that is Gold Coast Chronicle, are standing by the Stand Up America staff. The original source of this report was from a person who spoke with service members in theater. The source's, the source's story was conveyed as printed and was confirmed by military personnel who did not want their names published. Um, so all of this is for your own resource. You can look this stuff up, okay? Uh, is this true or not? Time will tell. I hope not. What does it mean? I don't know. But uh, I have been following a possible story on the United States, um, the Enterprise, the big E here. It, it may be used as a false flag. It may be used as a, um, a lamb for the slaughter, so to speak, uh, to, to, blame, to blame an attack on Iran who won't do it most likely because they would know the implications but if our government wants to go and attack Iran to get rid of a nuclear threat in support of its ally Israel then they may use the enterprise which is on its last uh, voyage as, as a sacrifice and there is a ton of information on that. Just Google it. Look it up. So um, that may happen. And uh, that's, the, that's the reason why this may be important. I don't know if it's true or not. I'm not predicting anything. How could I? <laughs> I'm just showing you information. If it was in a magazine and you were sitting next to me, I'd go, here, look. What do you think? Okay, that's all I'm doing, but I'm doing it in video form. All right. Um, 
Go ahead and comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, for yesterday's video, click right here. Okay? Thanks for watching. I appreciate this. I appreciate your time. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. Like the video if you appreciate information being brought to you. Thank you again. And this is Scotty, the Eternal Rhythm Flow channel on YouTube. God bless.